our stem cells safe? Hey guys, it's SC Jules, aka Shrana, and I'm back with another video. In my last video, talking about clinical trials regarding star guards, showcased three clinical trials that are currently in progress. Now, I'm going to switch up the order of doing things because ACT came out with preliminary phase one clinical data for their stem cell therapy. So last month, back in October, ACT published their preliminary phase one clinical data in The Lancet about their stem cell therapy and to show if it is safe. And that's basically what a phase one clinical trial is supposed to look for is to find out if a procedure or a product or a medicine or a therapy is safe to use on people. They did two trials. One was for age-related back degeneration, which is very similar to Stargardt's, but it, it occurs in older people. And then for Stargardt's, so nine patients with Stargardt's and nine patients with AMD. The concern with stem cells is the fear that the cells might damage tissue in the body, might turn into a different cell, or could cause tumors. And based off of their preliminary data, and there were no adverse side effects to the procedure for Stargardt's, it being a disease that basically when you go to the doctor, the doctor says there's really nothing that we can do. And this is really great to further this science that this could be a potential treatment for Stargardt's. So what exactly happened? So how was a procedure done? Basically what they were able to do is that they took a cell from a early stage embryo, just one cell, and they differentiated that cell to make RPE cells that are similar to the ones in our eye and put that into the back of the patient's eye so that it would engraft or connect to the tissue um, to fix the damage inside. The majority of the patients, even though this was a safety trial, it seemed that in the majority of the patients, it did halt progression in the treated eye. Um, there were only cells that were put into one of the patient's eyes, not into both. So I just want to clarify that. It seems that it did improve people's vision. The only downside is that this was such a small trial that they would have to definitely in phase two or phase three, would have to see how it would be in a larger population of people. And these results are very promising and very encouraging. If you are interested in participating in the clinical trials, I would highly suggest that you share the Lancet article and the clinical trial data from clinicaltrial.gov on these trials with your doctor, with your ophthalmologist, your eye doctor, your primary care doctor to see if you would be an appropriate candidate. Down below in this video, I'm going to put a link to one of my latest blog posts. This kind of some background on what stem cells are if you're curious about them. Also, I'm going to link to Wall Street Journal video that really does a really good job explaining what happened with this clinical trial. And I'll also put the links the direct links to the clinicaltrials.gov pages for both of the trials for startups and age-related macular degeneration. So otherwise, I will see you later. Bye-bye.